of a powerful rocket engine echoed across southern New Mexico this morning. After a failed attempt last year, today it was a successful blast off for the company Up Aerospace. State leaders hope many more rockets will soon be dashing across New Mexico's skies from our new spaceport. Our Bob Martin was there today and has a story. When they first rolled the barn off the rocket this morning, it was breezy and rain was in the forecast. No one was sure weather would allow a launch. During final countdown, a pause to reflect on the 200 souls whose ashes were being carried aloft on this flight. We wish the friends and families present today and all those who are with us in spirit all over the world. Godspeed. Vehicles armed. Three, two, one, fire. Missile away. The single-stage rocket quickly left the atmosphere, floated in space for a couple of minutes before landing about 30 miles away on the Army's White Sands Missile Range. Among those whose ashes were on board, James Doohan, Scotty from Star Trek, and Mercury 7 astronaut Gordon Cooper. Cooper's family says even though he flew into space in real life, they knew what to do when invited to send him up. If they had asked Gordon to make another space flight, he would have done it in a minute without even thinking. So I didn't think there was any other, any other answer but yes, of course, Everyone absolutely. Everyone was a bit nervous. There were paying customers on this flight, 200 families sending ashes of loved ones into space. And Up Aerospace was hoping beefed-up tail fins would prevent a repeat of last year's failure. But you never really know till you light it. One fire. Missile away. Computer simulations proved correct, and the rocket shot straight and true, reaching 4,000 miles per hour in a few seconds, severing all bonds with Mother Earth, at least briefly. We have confirmation from radar track that the vehicle is now in space. After a few minutes in space, the payload re-entered the atmosphere and landed on the Army's White Sands Missile Range. Look closely again at mission control during countdown. Two ladies push the fire button together. Three, two, one, fire. Missile away. They're the wives of NASA astronaut Gordon Cooper and Star Trek's James Doohan. Ashes of the two men, one real space traveler and one who took our imagination there, rode together. Jimmy always wanted to go into space, for real, not just to Scotty. And <clears throat> this was one way for him to achieve that because uh, he knew he was never going to achieve it in his lifetime. The successful launch was great news for the state of New Mexico.